Kevin Costner's ex asks for more child support, Iggy Azalea forced to stop performing in Saudi Arabia. Get the latest Hollywood headlines from the Fox News Entertainment Newsletter. Welcome to the Fox News Entertainment Newsletter. To receive this newsletter in your email, subscribe here. C-O-S-T-L-O-I-D-I-V-O-C Kevin Costner tells court he never had an affair as ex-wife petitions for more child support. Continue reading here. I-W-A-S-N-T-A-L-O-W-E Idi Azalea claims Saudi Arabia authorities shut down a concert after pants spitting wardrobe malfunction. Continue reading here. Party in the USA. Miley Cyrus supports Mother Tish as she weds Prison Break star Dominic Purcell while some siblings skip it. Continue reading here. Royal Ori J. East E. Tyone. Dolly Parton rejects Kate Middleton's invitation to tea for a surprising reason. Continue reading here. Hostile environment. Adult film star Ron Jeremy accused of sexual assault in negligence suit filed against famed Hollywood bar. Continue reading here. Rest in PEC. Aline Sorkin. Days of Our Lives star. Dead at 67. Continue reading here. Cash problems. Jessica Alba's husband admitted they had a breakup over jealousy issues. Continue reading here. I am a major fan. Taylor Swift concert security guard fired after breaking photo policy. Continue reading here. Total transformation. Country star Chris Young admits changing his diet sucks after 60 pound weight loss. Continue reading here. Light attendants reveal secrets of flying and what it's really like working for an airline. Flight attendants might seem to have a glamorous job, but there is more to the job than you might think. Yes, they get to travel for free and see every corner of the world, but they also have to undergo difficult training and deal with some seriously horrible passengers. There are plenty of secrets that your flight attendants are hiding from you behind that charming smile. Read on to learn what's going on behind the scenes while you're busy watching an in-flight movie. Have you ever noticed that flight attendants always seem to greet passengers with their hands clasped behind their backs? Turns out that there's a good reason airline employees do this. Hiding their hands makes it easier to conduct a head count as people enter the plane. They're keeping count on their fingers. If you saw them counting on their fingers in front of you, you probably wouldn't think too highly of them. The trust between the attendant and passenger must never be broken. When it comes to long-haul flights, you might get to take several snoozers, but what about the flight crew? They constantly have to be around to tend to passenger needs and are always on their feet, but that seems like a lot for a flight that's over 10 hours. Don't worry, flight attendants get to take their breaks too. Big planes like Boeing 777 or 787 jets have secret sleeping cabins built in for staff. These windowless sleeping quarters are built above or below the gully. So that's probably where your favorite flight attendant is if you've noticed you haven't seen them for a while. Everyone understands how uncomfortable it is to be stuck on a plane for more than two hours. A lot of times you'll see that passenger who takes their shoes off and they'll even walk around the cabin without putting them back on. It may seem like they're just making themselves comfortable, but it's actually pretty disgusting. Flight attendants know just how filthy the floor of the plane really is. Plenty of accidents occur in flight. While those accidents do get cleaned up, it's still not as sanitary as you'd hope, especially in between flights. Plus, cleaning supplies are limited on airplanes. The flight crew uses subtle codes to communicate with each other about the goings on in the plane without letting the passengers know. There might be things they need to tell each other to look out for, but they don't want to freak out the passengers. Those bells and chimes you often hear during a flight aren't for no reason. For example, those dings you hear at the beginning and end of a flight. That's to signal to the crew that the most dangerous stages of the flight are over since takeoff and landing are the most precarious parts of flying.